Is the American dream of home ownership at risk? Hottest month in housing history. Demand far exceeds the housing supply. As home prices escalate to record highs, most Americans are left wondering, how did we get here? I'm sure we're not alone in thinking that. Housing Horizon will uncover the brilliant people building a brighter future for all of us. This is framing, a labor-intensive process that creates the skeletal structure of a home. Traditionally, lumber is cut up, arranged, and assembled on the construction site. Today, we're meeting a team whose mission is to modernize this critical step of housing construction. We're here at Integra in Modesto, California, where an Irishman is using German robotics to save American housing. Let's see how. I'm Jerry McCahey. I'm CEO of Integra. I've been in the offsite construction industry for nearly 30 years. I did pass an Integra building with like a banner on the side of it. That was our original factory where we started from. Do you guys still use that at all? Yeah, yeah no, that's, that's actually now co fully converted to making prefabricated floor cassettes. Wow. Overall, the US housing market is obviously in boom conditions at the moment, which has been as a result of COVID. And then you can go into the many different reasons as why did COVID cause that. You obviously have a huge labor issue a you know, lack of skilled trades and a lack of even unskilled um, labor. I guess, can you talk about the labor component? Because I don't think people understand that there is such a huge shortage of skilled trades. So currently, as we sit here in, in 2021, it is generally estimated by all of the authorities and regulators inside the industry that the construction industry has a 400,000 person shortage. Think about that, 400,000 people more are needed to actually complete the homes. If you don't have them, what happens? Either homes don't get built or the cost of them rises dramatically. For every uh, one person that currently enters the construction industry, five leave. Wow. Now, a lot of that is actually retirement, because if you look at the demographics and you look at the age profile of people within the industry, you'll see that a lot of them now are in their 50s, 55, 60. I mean, they've been through a hard physical labor throughout their working lives. And so they're coming out of the marketplace, but only one's coming into it. So the building industry itself is doing a very bad job of attracting young millennials into the industry, mm -hmm. and the people are leaving it. It begs belief that we don't do something to try to capture that knowledge and information that those five experience have and put it into some form of technology that will allow us to increase our output. But by simply throwing people at the problem, you actually put less skilled people at the problem, you drive up your costs, and you also consequently have a reduction in quality. Yeah, you're creating issues. You're creating issues, correct. So it doesn't bode well for the cost of housing going forward if we don't do something about the labor issue, which really comes down to one word, productivity. What we need to talk about is how do we make the people that we have more productive? How do we give them the tools to do more with the knowledge that they have? Other companies don't really go out and say, well, I'm gonna throw more people at it. They go and say, how do I actually apply more automation or give more tools or better tools or better processes to the people I currently have to allow them to do more? Because that increase in productivity also drives down costs. Absolutely. So it's a, it's a double win. Like my history in the offsite construction industry goes back 30 years myself and 50 years of my family based out of Ireland and, and Europe. In Ireland, we have our technical engineering office, which we have like 60 people employed, mm -hmm. where they do all the engineering and design work for all of the information that goes to the automation that we have here in Modesto. So we're doing all our technical work in Europe, and those files are being sent here to drive the automation in the plant over here in Modesto. With a 60-person Irish workforce also on the roster, it seems like Integra might be onto something big. I decided to take a look behind the scenes to see who's making this operation tick. So when I was first hired, they had asked me if I would be able to handle it, you know, being in a factory full of men who often use the women's restroom. So I had made a comment that yes, all through school and I have nothing but brothers and I'm very used to old white men trying to tell me how to do my job. <laughs> and then he looked down at himself and looked at the color of his skin and I was like, oh my God, what did I just say to the CEO? Then you got hired. <laughs> and I was hired Perfect. on the spot. Awesome. <laughs> so my name is Maya Grender and I'm a process engineer. We build houses. We build houses, but we build them in panels. Mm -hmm. And then we send those panels out and they get erected on site in a manner of okay. matter of hours. All of those panels have to be made with the automated equipment that we have out in the factory. So I'm in the plant a lot, okay. which is why we 
You're totally geared up. You're ready gear. to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Do you have your helmet Just, around here? I do. I actually bedazzled mine. Oh, look at that. You know, people started stealing my stuff, so nobody likes, none of the guys out there at least, like to steal bedazzled stuff. So I actually, I had a tape measure that was bedazzled as well. <laughs> Um, we tried to design a lot of panels based on that. So what's up on my screen right now is basically just a single panel. Um, and it's showing on here all of these different nail lines. So that's kind of more what I look into is what do those nail lines have? What index do they have? What tool is it calling for? We've been putting out about five houses a day. Um, and when we say put out, we mean we send them to site and they get erected. So that's five houses that we can make in a single day. I can work all summer with my dad and not even finish a house. <laughs> So Maya programs Integra's equipment to build all the house plans. But first, lumber has to be pulled into the factory to be assembled. Our friend Dale provides some insight on how they make that happen. But it stood out in the beginning, I seen, and I, once I seen Integra, I was like, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Name's Dale. Dale, what's your last name, Dale? Dale, sorry, Dale Martin. So right now I'm the supervisor of all of the saws. If we want to cut material, it goes as far as like waste management too. So we will get with these guys, see what we have more of, 24 lengths, 18 lengths, see what our houses are built from, and then take in the, the correct one for that job. Get the paperwork, right material, get it out. I was gonna say, you're definitely not just pushing a button. Like no, you're, it's you're not. like shuffling everything around before everything. it comes in. Yeah, you're moving everything around, getting it ready. It's, 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 it's a lot of work. It's so much more advanced, you know? This, you can't really even call it construction anymore at that stage because it's not even, you're not just coming in with a tool bag, you're, there's so much more, you're planning, you're learning so many different things, so many different jobs all in one. The thing is, our team, we've all grown up from just from nothing. Everyone's come in here as framers, so right now our team, if anything does happen, if anything changes, we're all there for each other. Everyone's right there on the spot all the time, so that's yeah. good. Dale and Maya aren't the only rising stars in this team. We met with another young man to walk us through Integra's entire manufacturing process. I guess you would say it's really useful to know how to do this. Later on in the future, you want to do some work in your house, you don't got to pay for it. <laughs> David, David Rios. David Rios, nice to meet you, man. Um, tell me about what you do here. I am a uh, production supervisor uh, on the side of safety and uh, quality control. We get all the fabrication details. They come from Ireland. Then they come up here in the front office, they print everything out that's needed to build whatever lot it is that we're gonna be building. And then after that, it gets issued to the saws. So once it gets issued to the saws, the saws take care of cutting all the key components, such as headers, uh, any kind of blocking, and in general, just all the wood basically that's needed to build that, that entire home. So all the parts are labeled by number, and they also have the name of the part, such as like if it's a window sill, let's say window sill, then they go into this uh, machine that's called the frame tech. The frame tech actually frames the walls. All they do is just feed the machine. All the special parts are already pre-made, all the components are made. Once the walls completely frame, it gets pushed down the line to the blocking area. All they gotta do is just throw the sheeting on, tack it, and then push it down, and then we got a machine called the wall tech. The wall tech fully nails the sheeting onto the wall. Once all that hardware's on the wall, it gets stacked. As each panel is finished, it's craned into a pack and gathered for shipment. Outside, our friend Kevin helps trucks prepare for delivery so these panels can make their way to job sites across the state. Hey, Chad, Kevin. Nice to meet you, Kevin. Thank uh, you. Tell us what you do here. I'm the uh, SVP of logistics for Integra. I noticed that inside and talking to people here in the past, I feel like you're, you're always setting up the next person for success. Correct. You're not just getting it done as fast as possible. Correct. It's like playing a game of pool. You have to figure out how you get onto the black ball and how you get rid of it, really. So, you know, a couple of shots ahead all the time and be able to think of the guy that's coming after you. That's, what, that's, what, that's the train of thought. When the finished product arrives in on the in our finished goods area, it's my responsibility then to make sure that the product is placed on a truck and it arrives to the job site on time. What you're seeing around you now is what we call finished goods. So these are panels or house lots that are prepared and ready for shipping. What we do here is we work off our delivery schedule. We put it on reverse order for the trailer so that when it, it goes to the job site, that it's easily offloaded. So you load it on backwards, basically. Correct. It's going on in reverse order, so it comes off in the correct order. That's what our whole process is built on, is efficiency. So the efficiency starts from the moment we drive our first nail in the factory until it comes out here as a finished good. This particular shipment is heading just 90 miles up the road to Oakley, California. Let's see how it all comes together. 
We're here with Juan, and he's going to kind of talk us through this process of assembly and what to expect when we're here. What, what we do at Integra here is basically make logistics easier. So that means from getting all the materials out and on and onto the plate. What's plate level mean? I so plate people... level is on foundation. Um, usually, if it's a one story, you're at plate level if everything's fully framed at the plate. If you have two stories, you're at plate once the two story walls are up. So everything, even the loading of the materials, is strategically planned so that as soon as the truck gets here, it's offloaded in a sequence where it's easier to install. So in our factory, everything is precision cut by uh, automated machinery. So everything is labeled and then packaged where it, it makes sense on how it's going to be loaded and how it's going to be offloaded off the truck. This lumber is a uh, certified premium grade because our machinery will not work with anything that's twisted or, or trotting because these machines work to a millimeter position tolerance. So Amazing. You see something like this where you can literally see, you know, in between, like there's literally no tolerance in the gaps or or the quality in between. Yeah, you know, I mean, it looks here. glued together. This stuff is, <laughs> is so tight. There's yeah. there's no gaps anywhere. I, tell me about these stairs, because you, you were telling me about everything's dropped in. How about the stairs? This looks like a lot of work. Yeah, so these stairs were actually made uh, with a CNC machine in the factory. Wow. So everything was pre-cut, then it's assembled, then it's literally just loaded, as you see here, it's loaded onto a truck, then it's trained into place. As one piece? As one piece. Wow. Your average 2,500 square foot home we essentially framed that to plate in eight hours. It's incredible. Like yeah. one day. One day. One like one regular working, working day. day. That's right. Yeah. Not even overtime. Let's head upstairs. I want to check this out. Sure. So for a home buyer, you're getting a lot of more peace of mind. So that means there's less uh, room for error. There's less room for poor quality materials use. Not only are you saving from that peace of mind, but you're also buying a house that's a lot more cost efficient in terms of you know energy efficiency. That must be pretty neat to, to be on on the team that's really leading the charge, especially in the United Absolutely. States. Maybe not in the world, but definitely here. Yeah. Dragging this industry from how things were done to how they will be done everywhere. That's right. There's a lot of opportunity for transforming, as we want to say. We want to transform the way houses are built in America, and we want to make it more sustainable, smarter, and safer. This is this has been really nice for us to see because we we always see this online, yeah. getting up close to what construction actually looks like today is totally different than Absolutely. what most people think about. So thank you for walking us through. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Nice, nice to see you, Juan. Until recently, homes weren't built at this terrific speed. It was typical for the entire framing process to take a few weeks. With Integra, lumber is framed into a home like this after just a few days. So how exactly have they done it? And what drove Integra to make such drastic change? I think the, the industry itself, if it doesn't start to accept that this is now the 21st century, it's not the 18th century, and then you drive on to a US residential construction site, and they're basically doing the exact same thing, the exact same way that they were doing it 200 years ago. And you say, what, like, what's the biggest difference on the building site? And it's probably the use of a hard hat. That's the industry's biggest problem that they realize they, they continue to want to do the same thing over and over and over again. Was it Einstein said, you know, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. And yet people are still talking about old ways to solve the problem. We've got to think about different ways and the ways that other industries have adapted to this problem. And that has been, been, been by the use of modern technology and automation. I've talked to some people that work here and it seems like you have a very diverse range of people working for you here. Some of them come from 20 or 30 years of experience. Some of them like just started with you two years ago. This is their first job and they're loving it. Like what's the recruitment strategy? Is that throw a sign out there and say, hey, come work with us? What, what does that look like? How do you find the right people? <laughs> You know, there's a good core group of people now that have joined the company since we started here nearly four years ago. And now I think we're moving to the point where we are becoming known and the people who work here are now telling their friends and their colleagues about what it's like to work in Integra and, and what we are doing for the construction industry. So it's something different and something exciting. And, and obviously there's a lot of technology used here, which again, I say is another reason why we can attract younger people into construction. They've grown up with an iPad on one hand and an iPhone on the other hand, and they look at traditional construction industry guys swinging hammers and they go, yeah, no, that's not for me. Whereas they come to work for us, we're still in the construction industry, but everything we're doing is high tech. I mean, everything's computerized. 
There's no swinging a hammer. It's automated machines on CNC controls that are being driven by computers that are actually 6,000 miles away in Ireland to build the highest quality home that you can actually possibly build given the level of technology that we use. As our product has become more and more known mm -hmm. and we've proven that the product does what it said it would do, which was probably the hardest battle at the very beginning that people said, no, you can't do, you can't put a house up to roof level in one day. Yeah. And the more and more we've done of that and the more and more that it's available for people to see, the more people are saying, I want a bit of that. Um, that's been a big part of our recruitment has been just the type of work that we do. If you're interested in construction, then we're an exciting place to work. We got it. The housing crisis we face today affects each and every one of us. The construction playbook that we've relied on for the last 100 years is being torn apart and replaced with solutions like what you see behind me. Thanks to companies like Integra, the American dream is now one we can actually look forward to. Join me on Housing Horizons as we explore the people of today that are building the homes of tomorrow. Thanks for joining.